I was born with a great sense of responsibility. So when I commit to something, I take it seriously. I always have a list of things to do and it gives me great satisfaction to complete my tasks. Wasting time and being unproductive just feels wrong to me. My sense of responsibility is a valuable attribute, but it can sometimes count against me, especially in situations that require a more relaxed and spontaneous approach. For instance, my husband and my son often want me to watch a humorous video clip with them. Usually watching video clips that other people find amusing feels like a complete waste of time to me. But every now and again, I manage to take off my responsible and productive head, watch a funny video clip with my family and actually enjoy laughing with them. Those moments are enjoyable and memorable and I know I need to make a deliberate effort to laugh more often. I believe this is one of the reasons God has given me a son who makes me laugh. The name Vian means full of life. Vian calls himself a laugh person. He is joyful, fun to be with, a great companion and easy to raise. He makes me laugh more than anyone else I know. I'm so thankful for his contagious giggle and his good sense of humor. My life would have been incredibly dull and boring without his existence. I've recently released a 30-day devotional for women called Life is Beautiful. I've learned that life is not perfect, but it is beautiful when we see it through God's eyes. So I would love to take you on a journey with me and highlight a few days in the book. Today, I'm going to share more about the beauty of joy. put joy and happiness in the same category. However, they are very different. Happiness is triggered externally and is dependent on people, things, places and events. Joy is cultivated within and is more consistent. Joy is a fruit of the Holy Spirit and it is not dependent on circumstances. My personality type is in great need of the fruit of joy. Otherwise, I could carry the world's burdens on my shoulders instead of allowing God to take care of the complicated and impossible things in life. So over the years, I've discovered a simple but beautiful tool to choose joy. Active and deliberate gratitude. The giving of thanks for every gift and blessing from God. When my heart feels depressed, hopeless and burdened, it is often difficult to think of anything for which to thank God. But when I intentionally start thanking Him for one thing, my eyes open to more things for which to be grateful. We often think we must feel grateful before we can start being grateful. Thanksgiving does not begin with a feeling. It begins by meditating on the right things. It starts by leading our hearts, by consciously focusing on things for which to be grateful. Being thankful leads to feeling thankful. Philippians 4.8 says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report. If there is any virtue and if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The scripture also implies whatever things are false, whatever things are shameful, whatever things are unjust, whatever things are corrupt, whatever things are dreadful, whatever things are of bad report, if there's any evil and if there's anything despicable, do not meditate on these things. We do not find things that are true, just, pure and lovely so easily. Certainly not in the secular news. These positive things are not favorite topics at a party. News is mostly bad and discussions at parties are primarily negative. If we want to find good things, we must search for them, look for them, and dig for them until we see them. Then we need to meditate on them until joy 
fills our hearts. Joyful people are beautiful and inspiring. Everybody wants to be around them. I want to encourage you to pursue more joy. So how could we cultivate the fruit of joy in our lives? Maybe you can try some or all of the following suggestions. Cultivate a lifestyle of thanksgiving. If you can't think of anything to be thankful for, start with thanking God for the gift of eternal life, which is available to all of us. We just need to respond to Him by faith. Intentionally meditate on the truth found in God's Word that will release hope and peace, which will lead to an internal joy that won't be affected by circumstances. Spend more time with positive and joyful people. Surround yourself with joyful friends and ask God to help you to be present in the moment. Let's pray together. Father, I need the joy that is found in your presence. Joy that will strengthen me, empower me to spend more time in your presence where I can exchange my grief for your joy. Empower me to meditate on things that are authentic, admirable, pure and kind. Help me to embrace a lifestyle of thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you so much for listening. Please join me in the next video as I'm going to share about the beauty of redemption. Remember, life is not perfect, but it is beautiful when we see it through the eyes of